Hello friends, how you doing? Uh, in today's video, I wanna talk about a little experiment that I did earlier this month uh, on Motion Array, uh, why I think it's paying off. And I also wanna tell you about a little known uh, bonus system that they have in place, which isn't related to customer requests, but rather just uh, download volume. So stick around to the end of the video, I'll chat a little bit more about that. So much of my audience here on YouTube uh, is more than familiar with my uh, lo-fi hip hop exploits. Uh, but earlier this month, I decided to write a track uh, that is very much hip hop, but it's not lo-fi. So this is a track of mine called Oh That's Real Good. And for a brief while, it was number one uh, most popular track of the month on Motion Array. And I believe that at the time of recording this video, it's been notched down to number two, uh, but still very happy about it. So I was actually inspired to write something uh, like this after one of the members of the Production Music Academy, uh, Alexandra, uh, reached out to me for some feedback on a track that she'd written that was in the style. And I realized that uh, I really had to dig into this because it's, the style is just so energetic and awesome. And now that I've already actually started working on my second track in this style, I figured um, you know, I'd just make a full on production course uh, from it for the uh, Production Music Academy. So that's actually um, August's upcoming course. It's gonna be on uh, high energy, kind of 90s inspired uh, up-tempo hip hop. So I'm really excited about that course. And yeah, make sure to uh, click on the link in the description below to learn more about the Production Music Academy. Uh, this is the membership community where I host all of my production course content. There's also a feedback forum uh, as well as bonus content. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I do pay very close attention to what kinds of music that I'm hearing in the ads that are served to me, both on YouTube as well as Instagram. And I've certainly noticed that like the 90s inspired uh, up-tempo, high energy hip hop uh, is still like extremely popular. Uh, and this is a really licensable style. I hear it a ton in, in all sorts of different uh, promotional content. Uh, it makes sense too. It's, you know, it's energetic, it's upbeat, uh, and it's very well suited to that like fast paced editing style, which works so well for, uh, you know, visually intensive advertising material. Anyway, let me take you into the session. Let's take a look. For the most part, the track is actually pretty repetitive, uh, you know, as is all hip hop, uh, but there's a lot of break points and interesting one shots uh, just sort of peppered across the whole track, which really takes the listener out of the loop zone, prevents listening fatigue and uh, provides really obvious edit points uh, for visual media. For example, I love doing things just like uh, throwing in little spoken word uh, samples. Oh, that's real good. That's a sample I got from Splice, but it's actually really to, easy to create samples like that on your own. Just record a phrase in, you know, to any old microphone and then use Isotope's free vinyl plugin, put it through that 30s preset, add some vinyl crackle, and there you go. It's that easy. Cool thing about this track is that, um, and the style really is that it's almost entirely dependent on sample selection. So in this production, like for example, I'm only using one VST track and that's uh, for like my tambourine. I'm using the Groove Mate 1. And otherwise I'm using my real bass to record the bass line. But everything else is just like chopping up samples. This style is actually really easy to work with too if you're using like a hardware sampler, like the machine uh, or like an MPC. At this point, I've just been such a long time uh, Logic user that it's easier for me to just chop up uh, these like audio regions manually. And that's kind of how I work, but everyone's got a different approach. I wouldn't say that this track was, you know, really easy. Uh, it did take me some time to like chop everything up and like find the right samples. Uh, and yeah, just get everything, you know, nice and tight. But yeah, I mean, of course, because it is doing so well online right now, uh, it is time well spent. So on the topic of Motion Array, I know there's mixed feelings out there. I get it. Uh, those of you who have been following the trends of the like stock music marketplace uh, this year are well aware that um, at the beginning of this year, they kind of restructured their royalty payout system. The net result of that was, you know, that a lot of producers on the site saw a significant percentage of their uh, monthly income disappear very quickly. And that had a lot of people upset, of course. And I, I want to make it clear that, you know, I, I'm not here to weigh in on that drama. I mean, ultimately, I just I can't um, 
influence the decisions that are made uh, by the people who run these libraries. Uh, all I can do is just, you know, sit here every day and write great music. That's all I can really control. Every time that I do sit down here to write a track, um, I do it with purpose, you know, whether it's for uh, Artlist, Motion Array, for film, uh, or for myself, you know, whatever the task is, uh, I just try to make sure that I'm doing the best possible work that I can. And I really try to apply that same work ethic across all disciplines so that when things inevitably change, uh, which they do all the time, and uh, one opportunity dries up, uh, I, I try not to get upset about it. And I, I mean, I really just don't have time to get upset about it because I'm already looking for uh, the next opportunity. And that's really been my philosophy uh, for some time now. So anyway, the point of this video is uh, just to let you know that um, all my best-selling tracks, you know, uh, on Motion Array and for uh, many other libraries for that matter, have all essentially been experiments. I really strongly suggest uh, pushing yourself to experiment with uh, other types of, you know, different genres and styles. I'm not saying that, that you have to master all of them. Uh, I just personally have found that I've learned so much from just pushing myself out, out of my own comfort zone, uh, trying new things, uh, and, and I'm always kind of in a state of experimentation, and those experiments often work out really well for me. This month on Motion Array, I'll probably push past uh, over 2,000 downloads. Uh, and most of those downloads are coming from just this, you know, just this one track uh, that I uploaded. I mean, these days I really, uh, I'm so busy that I only have time to upload one or two tracks uh, a month. So I should point out that if your track uh, just happens to be uh, among the, uh, the top 20 most downloaded uh, tracks of the month, and this actually applies to uh, any asset in any category, uh, Motion Array will reward you by basically doubling the amount of downloads that you got uh, for the month and calculating your payout based on that amount of downloads. And this has actually happened to me uh, several times this year already. Uh, and because of that, Motion Array continues to be a really valuable marketplace for me. Uh, more downloads, more income, and also just the sheer amount of downloads on this track and, and many of the others that I've, I've had uh, this year has really contributed to uh, my, my content ID income uh, going up slowly. It's been a slow start. Uh, I don't make a lot off content ID, but I do have sort of like a, a hope that in the long term, um, it's going to go up and up until it actually becomes like a like a pretty significant source of income. Every month since I've started uh, registering my tracks with Content ID, the statements um, have have gone up and up. Um, so that's hopeful. Hopefully, it'll keep going that way. I know a lot of people are trying to get um, you know find ways to get traction on Motion Array. I know a lot of people are still uh, trying to get a, approved to be sellers on Motion Array. Uh, I want to be as helpful as I can here on YouTube. Um, I'll just remind you that I did a live stream in September of last year where I wrote like this corporate slash electronic track, which eventually became a bestseller. Um, you can watch that live stream. I, I basically, you know, do the, do the whole process from first idea to, to finish master. I'll, I'll put that link uh, up above somewhere. Go check that out uh, if you have the time. And I also shared um, a video last month about my top three tips for uh, writing music that's better adapted for the uh, sync marketplace. I'll put that link up above as well. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, if you want uh, access to a massive amount of uh, course content where you can see my entire writing, mixing, and mastering process uh, step for step in a variety of different genres, then make sure to check out the Production Music Academy. Not to mention you'll have access to all the uh, monthly challenges, which have been so much fun and uh, a great community of like-minded composers from all over the world with whom you can share your work. So that's it for me uh, for today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, uh, comment below. Uh, let me know if you're up to any new interesting experiments uh, lately with music libraries. Uh, let me know if you've tried writing in this like, you know, old school hip hop style. And otherwise, yeah, let me know how you're doing. Uh, and I'm wishing you all well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.